Hai guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So di episode kali ini aku akan kasih lihat models house atau models apartment di Bangkok. Nah, aku tinggal bersama 11 orang di sini dan rumahnya itu padat banget. Ada dapurnya, ada living roomnya dan ada kita sharing room juga untuk yang cowok dan yang cewek punya ruangan sendiri tentunya. <laughs> Oke, okay, let's ikutin aja yuk. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Ayo nggak seo? Ayo seo. Korean speech. Ya, yeah, Korean speech. This yeah. is Jung Hwan, my roommate from Korea. <laughs> yeah. You can speak I, Korean? Yeah, because I'm Korean. Mm. Introduce uh, yourself with Korean. Uh, okay, and it's a on the bar your. Ya. Maksudnya okay, okay. Uh, ada subtitle sih di bawah. Yeah, okay, um, ya. Yeah. And everybody, I'm so sorry there. Yeah. English speech is not good. Uh. 안녕하세요. 한국 모델 정환입니다. 잘 부탁드려요. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Okay, aku akan kumpul sedikit di rumah model house ini. Di sini ada meja. Biasanya di sini kita uh, makan, working, buka laptop semua di sini. Terus kadang-kadang breakfast sama-sama, kalau enggak dinner sama-sama juga. Terus di belakang itu ada dapur. Nah, ini dapurnya yang pasti kita suka masak buat makanan breakfast. Kita biasa masak masing-masing. Terus kalau malam kadang-kadang kita masak sama-sama karena sharing is caring. Terus kita belanja di supermarket and then kita masak dan kita makan sama-sama. Ya. Yeah. Dan ini aku lagi di living room. Di sini kita biasanya nontonin Netflix, terus ngobrol-ngobrol, sharing juga karena di sini modelnya beda-beda negaranya. Ada yang dari Amerika, Amerikanya pun beda-beda. Ada yang dari uh, San Diego, California, terus kayak dari ada yang dari Kanada, terus ada yang dari Asia juga dari Korea. Uh, terus ada dari Vietnam dan Indonesia tentunya saya sendiri. <laughs> Jadi di sini banyak belajar untuk mengenal perbedaan yang ada di rumah ini. Terus kita uh, saling sharing kebudayaan yang kita miliki. Memang kadang-kadang uh, sulit ya untuk nge-matchnya sometimes. Tapi kita harus belajar nge-adjust karena setiap Orang itu punya ke, punya kebiasaan yang beda-beda, bahkan kita satu budaya aja punya kebiasaan yang beda terus dalam satu rumah disatuin, ya pasti ada kayak dramanya, kayak ada masalahnya, tapi ada juga kebahagiaan tersendiri lah, tentunya pengalaman yang nggak bisa dilupain selama aku di sini. Di sini juga ada Jos, Hi Jos. Halo. Good morning. Good morning. He's Jos from San Diego. <laughs> He's my roommate also. Yeah, Hans the man. He's like one of the coolest people I've ever met. Right yeah. Now, hands down. Yeah. Say hi to Indonesian people. Hi Indonesia. Say hi. Yeah. Make some breakfast. Yeah. Oke, okay, aku ada di lantai dua dan lantai dua ini buat cewek-cewek jadi beda kamarnya yang cowok di bawah dan yang cewek di atas tentunya. <laughs> Oke, okay, kita mau lihat yuk. Kepo sedikit gimana kamarnya. Hai. Halo. 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 Yes. Yay! This is Stella and girls room. Ada tiga model di sini. This is Stella bed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then di situ juga ada Rima dari Asia Next Top Model. Cuman kayak dia lagi casting sekarang. Yeah. So what are you doing now? I just arrived to go to casting. I know casting agency, right? Yeah. For meeting, right? Yeah. 
Okay, thank you for... Bye! Thank you! See you later! See you! <laughs> Have a good day! Have a good bye day! Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Hi! Hi! Many fans from Indonesia! Yeah, okay! <laughs> Hi everybody from Indonesia! Kiss, kiss! Okay, you got me to see this! They have a lot of color for kids! But I, I picked the book for kids because it's more easy to learning and explain everything for grammar so I think it's very good to me. So yeah, see. Mm. Ah, it is your secret, right? Yeah, it's my secret. This little boy. He always my bring money. this everywhere from this thing. Money. Money to put money on. Because but now in here is nothing. Yeah, but when I go out I will always put to this car. It's for Beauty and the Beast. Cheers. You want to have a cup of tea? Cheese. Cheers. <laughs> it's very funny on my eyes, so you guys need to see this. <laughs> <laughs> like a cat? Cat no. eyes? <laughs> we bring a lot of things. Uh, yeah, I bring a lot of like, accessories, fancy things. Um, wow. Cool and fashion and yeah. Oh, kalau cewek peralatannya banyak banget <laughs> ini ada. Wow, a lot and right so because the girls <laughs> a lot of things to bring. I don't have any <laughs> accessories. I just bring. Aku cuma bawa jam, watch, finish. For the leg, oh, yeah, very sexy, very sexy and strong. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oke, okay, kalau ini adalah kamar cowok-cowok, jadi cowok-cowok di lantai paling bawah. Yuk, kita lihat di sini ada empat uh, bed. Here we go. Yes. For the first one, this is my bed. Kemarin abis premiernya Toy Story, jadi sekarang uh, Woody lagi tidur di sini. <laughs> Di sini ada apa aja? Ya, seperti itu. Ini kamar sebelah. Ini baju-bajuku aku hanging di sini. Ada baju batik tentunya. <laughs> di sini tempat tidurnya Jung Hwan. Ya. Wah, ada boneka cute. Dia bilang katanya dari girlfriend-nya. Terus ini tempat tidurnya Josh. Di sini tempat tidurnya Max tapi dia udah pindah ke tempat uh, yang baru. So begitulah kamar-kamar model cowok. Simple kan, nggak terlalu ribet karena kita nggak terlalu bawa barang banyak karena cuma tiga bulan di sini. Oke, okay, kita ke tempat yang lain. Hi Jung Hwan. Hi. <laughs> What are you doing now? Uh, just because uh, free day. Free day, yeah. no casting. Yeah. Uh, No casting. Um, I wanna sleep. Sleep. <laughs> oh, you like baby pink uh, shirt? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, can't put my girlfriend. Girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, It's so a, sweet, right? So you know, Kakao Tok. Kakao Tok. Oh, yeah, Korean Kakao. messengers, right? Yeah, Korean messenger character. Ah, so cute. <laughs> so cute, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, my girlfriend. Yeah. So if you miss her, like just hug the pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Dan aku punya beberapa pertanyaan buat para model-model di Models House ini. Uh, pertanyaannya yaitu seputar modeling. Kenapa mereka pengen jadi model? Terus apa yang menarik menjadi model? Dan struggle jadi model karena jadi model itu kadang-kadang juga kelihatannya aja enak tapi ada strugglenya. Mm -hmm. Kita nggak pernah tahu. Terus tentunya tips-tips jadi model pasti kalian juga yang pengen jadi model pengen dengerin uh, beberapa referensi tips-tips jadi model dari mereka. Oke. Okay. Hey, my name is Aislin Ozawa Burns and I'm from San Francisco, California. Hi, I'm Jenny Kuth and I'm from Korea in German. I'm half Korean, half German and nice to meet you guys. Hi. Uh, I'm from Hawaii, Oahu, Hawaii. Yeah, hi. I'm Jong Hwan. My age is 13. In, I'm Korean mother. Mm, nice to meet you. 
Hi everyone, my name is V and I'm from Vietnam. Hi, my name is Stella, I'm from Korea. Hi, my name is Yuki, I'm from Japan. I think first important thing is um, confidence. It's really, really, really important, I think. So I have to believe about myself. If you cannot, no one believe me. So I have um, people, if you want to be model, yeah, keep confidence. Second thing is uh, charming. Every model is very tall and beautiful, you know, like nice, look, looking gorgeous. This is normal, right? But I think charming is, meaning is I have all my style. So this is very important, like unique, you know. So yeah, two things. I have to build a member, confidence and charming. And also take care of body and skin. Yes. First time, yeah, I dream actor. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I'm first uh, <laughs> actor school. Yeah. I know that when I first started modeling, I feel like Posing was really unnatural for me. Like I wasn't really sure how to pose. I was like, <laughs> it was it was awkward. Um, but I think the more you test shoot, the more comfortable you get in front of the camera. And so now it's um, not as nerve wracking to be in front of a camera. Also, if you talk to other models, they can like give you some tips on how to relax. Um, one thing that always helped me was to remind myself to relax my shoulders because I was always like kind of tense with my shoulders so like to relax your shoulders it like makes it look a lot more natural when you're posing. <laughs> I would say to just love yourself and be comfortable in your skin and um, to not let uh, what people think of you on such a shallow level based off of like your skin and how you look let that get the best of you you know as long as you know that you're a good person inside and out you'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> first of all love yourself don't lose your confidence like always try to believe yourself even not if like even not you cannot trust yourself you have to trust yourself like being confident, being like happy, like good energies, like like kind of positive energy, like that's the most important. And then in, eat healthier food and work out every day and yeah, you know, model. Mm. <laughs> but it's okay. Just love yourself. Um, well, I recently just graduated from college and my older sister traveled and or she modeled internationally um, about three years ago and so since I didn't have anything lined up after college I figured it would be like a great way to travel and like you know experience a new culture um, as well as meet new people and uh, make some money hopefully to like pay off my student debt and yeah it's been a great experience so far. Um, dream? Kids dream. Dream? Yeah, dream. Oh, dream. Yeah. Well, because I love take a photo with me, like myself, and then I just kind of kind of like express myself, and I like like people look like me, like oh you're so beautiful like that. <laughs> hey, dude, everyone's like that. <laughs> Um, I think I've always had like a little dream since I was little because you see models and you're like, oh my gosh, I want to be like that. Um, but I never really thought that I could do it. And then when I got the opportunity, um, I just decided to give it a try. And yeah, now it gives you the opportunity to travel and to experience new things. So that's why I'm really in love with it and I continue to pursue it. I'm very very interesting when I can become a model because when you become a model you have a uh, you will have a nice dress with the makeup on magazine or sometimes you can become an actress so you want thick skin and if you do your good job you can be famous. Um, first time in Thailand. Mm, I don't know in Thailand, but people I mean I'm in Korea in here Korea is my problem. Many casting and many audition and many job, but it's a only one famous model. I'm not famous. Example is a fashion show and ten models, but my number is nine and plus famous model too. 
inside fashion show. I'm out. Why? I'm number nine. But no, no, no. You can't. Because I'm not famous. And it's all okay. Everything good, right? Yeah. I think now I'm a little getting old, so <laughs> there's a little, little bit problem. No, I'm not really tall, you know, like I'm just 172 something. So for fashion job, it's not really good. Because if you, I'm a more tall, yeah, I can do more like high fashion job, runway, so yeah. I'm not tall, yeah, but making muscle. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Good body, yeah. Uh, yeah. So so so. <laughs> but every day work out and uh, yeah, food. Yeah. Okay, my problem right now is I really want to go to LA for home jobs, but I kind of difficult to get a working visa in the state. So kind of struggle right now just I, I really want to go there and get a model job and go to surfing go to beach or some kind of stuff but I'm really concerned about like my visa problem so let's see how are you going on around here? my struggles um, I would say that like when I first uh, got into this industry I was a little bit worried that because it's so focused on image that I would have to be you know, like extremely conscious of my image 24-7, um, not be able to eat certain foods and like have to work out constantly. I was kind of worried about like maybe the psychological consequences of being a part of this industry, but I found that um, as long as you kind of like think about it as more of a creative process, like you're kind of an artist in a sense, like I would say that the photographer or the videographer um, has the creative vision, but you're part of the creative process and um, if you think about it that way, modeling becomes really fun. I would say one struggle that I face with most is like the inconsistency um, mm -hmm. because some days it'll be super busy, other months it'll be slow, so you just never know, but you just have to be very mentally strong and know that your time will come and the opportunities will come when they're supposed to. <laughs> One thing very difficult is belong to your body. If you show short like me, I'm a little bit short. You cannot become like high fashion model or runway model, but you need to use that to like change yourself, training every day to become like a commercial model or for lookbook fashion shop. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Sekarang waktunya untuk bobo, ya. Uh, jangan lupa untuk komen, like, dan subscribe my YouTube channel. Sampai ketemu di next video. Bye bye, bye bye. <laughs>